Hello and welcome to the tutorial for a program called Beaky Deluxe 4 brought to you by teachingyourselfspanish.com My name is Scott Shell. I'm the author of the book Teaching Yourself Spanish and I run the uh, website teachingyourselfspanish.com So Beaky Deluxe 4 is a program that's uh, put out by a company called Transparent Language it's a language learning program that helps you build your vocabulary. It's basically a, a, a glorified flashcard system, um, but it's a very interesting uh, way to work with flashcards because it keeps track of the um, your progress on the different words that you're working on and um, helps you keep your flashcards organized. So we're going to go through the uh, some of the features here, there's quite a few. I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but we'll uh, get to most of them. So um, basically when I bought this, I bought it for Korean. So um, when you buy it, it comes with, I'm going to show you the Korean here. Um, it comes with all these preloaded cards and files. These, they call them lists. So each um, collection of flashcards is a list. And you can see it's quite extensive. I believe there's over 2,000 words. Um, you can see I haven't completed any of them here. Um, that's actually because I transferred this to a, a new computer and it didn't keep track. It kept track of the cards, the list that I made for Spanish, but it didn't keep track of my progress. So um, I get to go through them all again. <laughs> so that's okay. Um, so anyway, when you buy the program, you get all of these, you know, preloaded words and phrases. So, um, basically, I was able to create Spanish flashcards on the same program. So, I didn't need to um, buy one specifically for Spanish. Um, Beaky offers a free uh, sample, basically, of their system. You can download for free, and you can see that I've downloaded some of the ones with these uh, audio symbols here are ones that I just downloaded um, for free uh, to show you for this demo. So let's go to, um, let's just look at uh, meeting and greeting. So it brings up your list. It takes you through different steps here to learn the list. So I already did step one just because I wanted to Buenas look at tardes. it. So you have um, an audio, person says it, and so the first step, we're just reviewing it. Buenas noches. We're just reviewing these and going through them all. Buenos dias. So um, they're all pretty simple, um, beginner Spanish type stuff. So um, after you go through previewing them all, you go to step two. Buenas. So you would know that that means uh, hello or greetings. So you would think to yourself the answer, flip it over, and if you're right, then you click yes. And if you're wrong, it will um, repeat it, but it will also continue to repeat it throughout the, uh, the uh, drill. So you get extra work, on, extra practice on the ones that you get wrong. So we'll say we got that one right. And Buenos dias. One. So let's say uh, we don't know what that means, and we get it wrong, so we would click no, and it repeats it. Buenos dias. And it will repeat it again. So here it keeps track of your percentage in this step, and then here's a percentage of all of the steps from steps one through three. So we're going to exit this step. Oh, and then um, halfway through it, let me show you, it switches to this written mode where you actually write in the answer. Señora. So that can... Um, this would be what Mrs. or mi Mrs. How do you spell that? Mrs. So let's see if we spelled it right. Yep. Okay. So if it was wrong, let's do another one here. Buenos dias. Let's say good day, and we we don't know how to spell day, so or we misspell it by accident. It'll come up red, and then let's say oh we knew it was we just. We knew the answer, we just uh, didn't spell it right. So if you want to accept it as correct, you can click that and either put typo, or if you put an alternative answer, then um, 
it will save that and remember it. So if for some reason you typed it in wrong again, um, it would uh, just accept it as correct, which is nice. Okay, so um, I'm going to get out of this be beginner Spanish stuff and um, show you some other stuff. So um, I guess the nice thing about the beginner stuff is you get the audio and the pictures, and it's, it's a good way to start learning some really basic beginner type stuff. But um, that's the free version, but what most people will really benefit from is the ability to create your own flashcards because you're working on, let's say, um, vocabulary from a study book or from some other program that you're working with and you select a vocabulary that you want to work on. So you can create your own list that um, is unique to you and let's say here I've got some words from uh, a Think Spanish edition or article so let's open up this list. You can see I've already done step one and step two so we're going to now go to step three, which is hardest, because we're going to produce it. We're going to hear it in English, or see the English uh, version, and then we're going to um, work on getting the Spanish based on the English, which is a little bit harder. So um, here we have uh, energía hidráulica. So these are words that I've been working with. Energía solar, and I put the uh, la or l. I put the just to um, the just to so I can know and learn and remember what what the uh, if the word is masculine or feminine. Um, Cumplir con. So let's say I get this one wrong. So it will um, bring it back again so a few more times. And then at 50% of this step, it will go into the written mode. And um, that's where it comes in really handy if you misspell a word because, let's say, you don't remember how to spell something in English because you've been studying so much Spanish, which seems to happen to me. So you can just uh, bypass, let's say you know the answer, but you spell it wrong. You can just skip over that. Okay, so... Um, Going up here, this change list thing will bring up all your lists that you're working on or that you've worked on. And um, then let's say you want to create a new list. So here's how you do that. You just um, walk through the steps here and give your list a name. I'm going to call mine TT or something. And I'm the creator. I just these allow me to go through all the steps. If you wanted to skip a step, then um, you can just uncheck it. And you can create it for all users. Let's say you have other people on your computer that um, you're sharing this with. Now, this is the edit screen, and I've got a little bit of a list going that I'm ready to start typing in. So you type in the English first, which is, um, I'm going to type in while at the same time. So those are two different definitions for the same word. Uh, medida. Okay. Okay, so then I click add card. So that brings up a new one. And here I'm going to do to take steps to my medidas. So if I needed a hint, Let's say, let me do one with the hint. So what I do when I have a noun, let's say uh, leak, like in, a, in your roof, you have a leak. So um, I put F or M if it's feminine or masculine. So that will just help me um, get the ball rolling as far as um, remembering whether the word is masculine or feminine. La gotera. So that'll come up the F will come up as a little, like, smaller, but it'll come up on the card as a hint. And then you can also, like, I can even record my own, like, voice, which I don't really like listening to, so I don't. But you could record your own audio for each of these, and your the sound of the word will come up if you wanted to do that, which is an interesting feature. And you can even add pictures. If you have a picture of a leak, you could add a picture of a leak.